because they are drugging me and chemically castrating me, it is harder to say this the way I naturally would. So I'm going to have to say it in a more aggressive manner to reach down deep so I can say this how it's meant to be said. People that aren't as manly as I am are chemically castrating me so they can pretend that they're more manly. You have nothing to fear but fear itself. The fear of letting down God. That is the only fear that is worth having. Everything else is sniveling bitch shit. I'm not talking about the Bible. I've done it before, I do it again. I toss the Bible. I piss on the Bible. It has allowed you all to act like bitches and to hold it and use it. To use it as if that's how it's meant to be used. It is useless. No honorable man has anything to do with it. Nor will he have anything to do with the obvious enemies of the Christians. They are sniveling bitch with even lesser forms of morality. If it is your family that is keeping you from submitting to Pharaoh before the age of ill-gotten gains forever comes about, then you must discard them. If you are afraid of what will happen to them, you must despise the idea of being afraid of what will happen to them. You must embrace their deaths. You must let it motivate you. You must know that you must be ready to strike down all enemies. I'm tired of this cowardice in this world. I doubt I'll make it to the end of the year. How far they're going to provoke me and drug me. To financially sabotage me. They've been doing it all my life. For their eugenic arguments, they were impairing my trace. Just like it said, I'll put the quote at the end of the video. Francis Galton, the guy who coined the term eugenics. Everything else is just a variation of his foundation, his evil foundation. And that said to impair the black man. is who what he was getting at. Who wouldn't see it that way? To physically impair races that are seen as superior to yours. Physically. To mentally impair the martial arts mind. That is the purpose of eugenics. Everything else is peanuts compared to that. How could you not see that? Look at those sniveling cowards they parade in front of you. You should fear the idea that you slip into a state where you behave like you look up to them. Fear the Lord and letting him down only and despise the ideas that prevent you from submitting to the last worthy person to connect to God. Nobody, not the offspring of snakes, nor the snakes who did not stand with me, is allowed to connect to God or anything worthy in the spiritual realm. They are banished for their treachery. They are sealed in. Many, after I die, will continue to hiss to the spiritual realm like we should give a shit. I tell you, as the only worthy person, God does not hear your prayers because you prayed on his son.